one person actually told me this, like, you know, at, at a dinner table, you can't talk about religion, politics, or coyotes. You know what I mean? Because it had become such a heated topic. The coyote is constantly living on edge because it's learned, you know, through the years and the generations of coyotes that there's a lot of things out there to fear, and in particular, humans. I was warned by some biologists that I wasn't going to get any any coyotes on my cameras because they'd be that wary, and and they were they were right initially. It was accurate, and whenever I use cameras in a new area, that's the first thing I get. I get these these coyotes just running away as fast as they can. I've got pictures of them on the game camera. That if you didn't know that was a coyote, you'd think it's a wolf. I mean, just the way they're built, they almost like have a mane in the winter. They get thicker hair down their down their shoulders and stuff. You can pick it out. We don't revere what's wild. You know, the wildness of nature makes a lot of people uneasy. As an indigenous person, I really feel there's lots of strength to be gained from animals in the wild and from learning from them. They've empowered many people, and I think that the more activists that spend time actually connecting in the wild with the animals that they fight for, they'd, they'd feel, I think, their spirit's very much improved from that. And I used to shoot coyotes, mainly over bait, in the winter and a little bit at night if it was like a full moon and you could see them but it was usually over bait and then went to a talk a woman gave a talk on living with coyotes at the yankee sportsman's classic she just talked about how their family groups work and how if you eliminate the adults the younger dogs might actually breed sooner and that the population response to shooting them isn't really what you want